This shit is getting me fired the hell up. It, this is literally changing my state right here, live in front of you on this camera. I am elevated from, I am a different person right as I'm recording this as before I started this, just by going through this. Cause I've never actually spoken this all out loud together and connected this all together. Like actually put this together. That's why I thought this episode was going to be so important. It's going to be a, pr- a pretty short one, but because it was so powerful and I feel the power from it, I'm already elevated from it and, and elevate elevation is my third word of the year this year. And I, it's, go, it's, go, it's happening right now. As you're, you're witnessing an elevation. There is a new version of me here today, a better version than there was just 20 minutes ago when we started this fucking show. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we're talking about something that I literally use every day. If you just saw one of the recent episodes on the daily disciplines and non-negotiables, one part one part of that was speak or write. And within the speaking and writing was mantras and your sayings, whatever your personal sayings, your personal mantras, your affirmations, however you want to call them. And we're going to go through different tiers and different levels. I'm going to break it all down for you. I'm going to share with you mine. And I want to hear what you have, what you come up with. And there's different categories you can put these into. There's different times I call upon different mantras for a change of state. We're going to dive deep into that and go through it all here on the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And this show is a show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, on how to flip the switch and guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms, all while you create your personal ideal freak freedom lifestyle and learning really to weaponize everything, your failures, your tragedies, your victories, your obstacles, weaponize your weaknesses, turn suffering to superpower, and that's what Flip the Switch is all about. That's what the Steve Eckert Show is all about. And one way to flip the switch is to be able to on demand, be able to boom, change your state. That's what flipping the switch is a huge part about changing your state. And the one way to do that is have your own personal sayings or mantras or whatever you want to call it. Like flip the switch could technically be a mantra. I mean, if you think about it in that intro, that show intro, stop being a little bitch, get your shit together. Uh, What else was there? Flip the switch, obviously. Weaponize everything. Weaponize your weakness. Turn suffering to superpower. Technically, those are all mantras. Those are all things that I tell myself on a regular basis that I both speak out loud. I I think I actually write down uh, as needed. But then I also have ones that I, I connect to and click into all the time on a regular freaking basis. And so first, first off, I'll break them up into some categories for you. I have my main Go to like sayings, you can call them my base core values, like operating system that I use, those main mantras and sayings that I have that are, are, are useful in any situation. Then I have words of the year. Then I have words of usually the week, the week that the way I need to think about how do I need to think about this week? And there'll be a word of the week. And it's something I check into to keep me focused on what those overall general priorities and tasks are for the week. But then there's also words and themes of the year every year. I'm going to break down all mine from the last three years for you. You can kind of see what we're talking about. And these are all ways to automatically change your state. There's a whole course that we have in the OTD courses, the online courses, which actually comes free with the Free Father Alliance, the men's mentorship group coaching program. Gets a lot of these courses free. There's a course on how to change your state. And immediate, and one of the ways to change your state is to have a mantra, to have these words, these words of the year that boom, and, and you could just snap out of it and get prepared and get ready. So I'm going to tell you one of my most powerful and most used mantras are, and then I'm going to go into the words of the year and, and all this other stuff. But my most used, my, mo- my go-to, I mean, there's three of them. There's my three main ones. But my go-to that I use every day, and literally, I could show you right here. This is my journal that I write on. It's even in red across the top here. There's three, all three of them right here at the top. You can't see there on the video, but the first one is literally, I am fucking awesome. And I tell myself that on a regular basis, dozens and dozens of times, right before we start recording here, I tell myself, I am fucking awesome. No excuses. Don't be a little bitch. Fucking attack. 
stay in the green, which means stay focused, stay centered, control your freaking emotions, and kill. And I'm going to break, and break those down real quick. I am fucking awesome. You know, one time, I told the story a couple of times, I was, I was uh, with Tyson doing Legos. He was five, maybe five years old. He was doing a Lego for 16 year old and up. It was like a 3,400 and something piece set, some, some big Marvel superhero spaceship kind of thing, this massive thing, all these moving parts. And it was, it was multiple levels to it, three dimensional, freaking awesome. He finishes it, takes him like a week or 10 days to finish it. And he's done with it. I'm like, holy shit, Tyson, you're fucking awesome. Like you did this thing for 16 year olds. You're only, only five years old. He's like, thanks daddy. He's like, who taught you how to do Legos? I'm like, oh, no one. You're, you're teaching me how to do Legos. He's like, wow, thanks, daddy. I'm like, Tyson, you're fucking awesome. And I'll talk to him like that. He can't, he won't say those words, but I'll talk to him like that. Listen, the worst thing I do with my kids throughout the day is, is a sound coming out of my mouth of a curse word that offends some fucking internet people. Then that's a pretty damn good day to me. I'll take that as a, as a worst thing of the day for me, any fucking day of the week. But anyway, Tom, you're fucking awesome. He's like, daddy, who, whoever, t- whoever told you you were awesome. Did anyone ever tell you you're awesome? I'm like, nope. It's like, well, daddy, you're freaking awesome. And he'll say freaking or flipping. And he tells me that. I'm like, holy shit. Like this is, there's something powerful to this phrase because I felt the power of that when he told me it. That was like some deep shit to me. That was fucking deep shit. So I told myself every day from that point, and that was now seven, eight years ago, that I am going to tell 100 people every day, 100 different people that you are fucking awesome. And that's what I've done. And I'm going to remind myself to remind myself that I am fucking awesome so you don't get caught in, in those pits and those bullshit stories you tell yourself in your head. And that leads to the other one. No excuses. No excuses. Don't accept any. Don't make any. That's why I tattooed the shit on my arm. Think of like these mantras are relics that can remind you and can help you change your freaking state. No excuses in any area of life. No excuses basically means stop being a little bitch. Don't be a little bitch. Like, get your shit together. Nut up or shut up. Like, that's what no excuses means. Like, just get it done, which leads into the third one, which is on the top of this list here, is kill. And there's a whole entire show. Well, there's a whole entire show on no excuses, accountability, and responsibility. There's a whole show on that we've had, so go watch that one. There's also a whole show on kill, on the what kill actually means and stands for. But in the quick version is... It means kill the fear, kill the doubt, kill the procrastination. Don't sit on your ass and fucking wait for per- perfect conditions. Fucking kill. Just go after it. Have a bias for action. Fucking attack. Attack the hills in life. Attack the struggles. Have those tough conversations. Like no more half-assing and bullshitting in life and dragging after life. Fucking kill. Get after it. Make shit happen. Like that's what, those are my mantras. Think about it. That's, my, that's boom. Kill. And it's done. Done deal. Whatever I was thinking about doing or, or contemplating doing or procrastinating doing or bullshitting and pretending that you're doing little steps for it. It's like kill, boom, done. Kill, attack, no excuses, done. Because you are fucking awesome. Like they're all, they're all interconnected. Think about that. Chain it all together. Put it all together. These, these are a complete change of state. Like just saying this stuff out loud to you and I say it right before I come on the show. This puts, lifts me up to a different state, a higher level, a different fucking dimension, a di- the freak dimension, like the fifth freak dimension to, to come and do this show for you. This is, this is, these, these are the types of strategies and tactics that allow me to have energy all day, every motherfucking day and bring the fucking fire every second of every second, which is another one of my mantras. Bring the fire every second of every second. Some of my mantras also are interconnected and overlapping fields of fire. Some of my main core values that I use in the family, in the businesses, same things like no excuses are across the board. They're everywhere. Bring the fire every second of every second. That's everywhere. Also, if you're always on your A game, you have to get on your A game. Another one of my mantras when it comes to the men's personal development group, the Freak Father Alliance, the men's mentorship, masculinity mastery program, masculinity mastery in your mindset, your muscles, your money, and your meaning. You could say those are mantras, but Really, the, the, the mantras that we have in that group for the men is we have a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of fucking work to do. Like men, we have work to do. And then be the one. Be the one. As a man, you should be the one. Be the one that people look up to. Be the one that people come to for help. Be the one who people want to follow and emulate. And want to look at you as a positive male role model. Be the one in your fucking family, in your family tree that breaks a cycle. Be the one. Like to me, I hear be the one. It's like, boom, it's automatic. Like the highest fucking version of yourself. Just when I tell myself that. And then be the one. All right. We've got work to do. 
hell yeah, we got work to do. All right. Now I'm thinking we got work to do. What's next? What's next? Kill. Be the one. We've got work to do. Fucking kill and get it done. Don't stop talking about starting the podcast. Stop talking about starting the business. Stop talking about whatever else you all want to do with your day and your life and fucking do it. Get it done. Fucking kill. Stop making excuses. Stop accepting excuses. Stop being a little bitch boy and make shit happen. And all that stuff comes together with with getting your house in order. Get your house in order. Another one of my mantras. Telling men in, in the Free Father Alliance, the coaching program. If you want to check out that program, check out the link below. I'll put a link below for it. If, if you're a man, it's something you absolutely need to check into on a regular basis. A daily, we have literally seven day a week interaction there that I have with all the men in the group. Seven day interaction and accountability. So they have no excuses. They're not going to make any excuses and I'm not going to fucking accept any excuses. All these are mantras. These are chains of state. These things are that fire you up. They lift you up. They take you to a different level, a different dimension. This is how you operate to dominate. This is how you develop a a level of masculinity mastery in your mindset, in your muscles, in your money, in your meaning. Don't be a little bitch. Get your shit together. Bring the fucking fire every second of every second. These are all, all parts of some of my mantras that are are literally not just, they're they're state-changing and life-changing mantras. Then I have other ones. I have acronyms. There's a whole episode on decaf. There's a whole episode on freak. There's a whole episode on kill. And decaf is discipline, energy, confidence, action, freak. I have an entire episode just on that framework. Go check that out. Then freak. Tell, me, tell myself, freak. Just saying the word freak, knowing that it's an acronym. And there's also an entire episode on, on freak, which the F is freedom. The R is role model. The E is enthusiasm, attitude, and kill. Like, all I have to do is tell myself the word freak, and it's bam. It's like, go into fucking freak mode. And the K in the freak is for kill. So it's go into freak mode, with, uh, operate with freedom, being a role model with enthusiasm, showing up at the attitude of who the fuck you are, and kill. Make it happen. And then kill has its, we had an entire show just on kill also, which is another one. Kill. We already went over that. Entire show on what that means. Check those previous shows out. All these shows are interconnected. And we'll change your state and we'll change your fucking life. So let's talk about themes of the year and words of the year. I also have themes of the year and words of the year. Let's go way back to 20, 2021. And the thing is, I still write down my words of the year every day. I write down my 2021, three words of the year, my 2022, three words of the year, and now my 2023, three words of the year and two themes of the year for 2023. That kind of combine them in the first years. This year, I wanted to go above and beyond because it's just, it's just the next level of changing your state. And I write these down and you can, these are down here on the side in the blue here. You can see those first mantras are up here in red. Other mantras are up here in blue. D- words of the year here. Some more mantras in red here. And, and I could flip to any fucking page and you will see that if you guys are watching on, on video there. So words of the year. In 2021, my words of the year were create, connect, and close. I literally wrote those down every day for the year and rated myself Every single night, as part of my nighttime routine, check out the other episode on nighttime routines. See how the shit's all connected? And I rate myself on create. How did I do in creating shit that day? Because my goal was to create a ton of shit that year. Connect. I needed to connect to a lot of people. And if I create a lot of stuff and connect with a lot of people, I'll be able to close a lot of deals and close a lot of business, close a lot of loops that are open, close a lot of problems that need to be solved. So those three things went together and I'd rate myself on those every day. And since 2021 was over... I said, you know what? I'm not going to forget about those things that I worked so hard on for the year. I want to build on that like freaking Lego block. So I wrote those down every day for 2022 and added 2022's words in, which were slow down, weaponize, and explode. That was 2022's. So technically, those those 2021 words of create, connect, and close, I wrote that shit down every, every fucking day for 2021, every day for 2022. And now I've written them down every day in 2023 as I've added 2023 stuff on top of it. So those three words, create, connect, close, those are fucking, think about it. I'm writing them down every morning that I'm writing, and then I'm rating myself on them every night, how to actually do. Those are my themes of the year, words of the year. How did I do that day? That shit is fucking burned into your DNA. That's why this stuff, 
is so effective and so part of who you are, like deep into your fucking bones, into your character, into your identity, who you are. Like I'm writing this stuff down every day. I'm fucking, I'm looking right at it right on the page. I'm fucking awesome. No excuses. Attack, kill, bring the fucking fire, a game, violence of action. Then close, create, connect, close, slow down, weaponize, explode, leading to 2023, which 2023's words were violence, execution, and elevation. Violent, execute, elevate. Underneath the theme of be bold, stand out. So the theme for 2023 was be bold and stand out. That's when I started this new podcast, to be bold. I've done tons of speaking engagements this year, traveling around the country, speaking getting paid to go on stage and speak to different different companies, different organizations and coach them, teach them and mentor them. Be that role model. And when I go there, I'm going to be bold and stand out. I'm going to show up as, as my freak self at using all these changes of state when I hop up on the stage or when I start the podcast or when I do the YouTube channel or when I'm with the coaching group in the Freak Father Alliance or one-on-one OTD operate to dominate coaching. I'm going to be bold and stand out. What is violence, execution and elevation? Like what the fuck? What is all that? Violence is just violence of action, like violently attack the day, violently go after the goals, violently stand up for who the fuck you are and what you believe in. So I wrote this down every day and I'm thinking about it, I'm checking into those every morning. That's how you, the day is starting. Tie that in to what we talked about a, a week or two ago, which was the, the daily distance and non-negotiables. That's part of the daily distance, the writing part and writing those down every day and saying them out loud. Like I'm fired the fuck up just, just thinking this stuff right now. And those are some of those daily distance was think, was write, was speak, connect, connect with yourself, connect with your core values, connect with your words, connect with who the fuck you are. Like this is some high level shit. It seems so basic to say you need a mantra, but when you start thinking of it this way, it's some high level shit. Like this shit is ingrained. Create, connect, close. Literally, I've said that and written it, I don't even know, tens of thousands of times. It's, it's nuts. But I will constantly be focused on creating shit. Constantly be focused and intentionality on connecting with other people, with myself, with the universe, with, with higher power, with God, whatever. And I will be constantly closing, closing agreements, closing arguments, closing the loops, closing problems that need to be solved and closing motherfucking deals. Like those things are ingrained. This is how you change your state with these mantras. You need to have them. You need to have these things. And I have, I'm overboard with them because I've been doing it for so long and I've written down so much that I, I, and I even thought about it recently. I'm like, all right, I spend the time and I write this stuff down every day. Is this a waste of my time? Should I stop writing this shit down? Should I just skip it? Just say to my head when I wake up and that's it. I was like, you know what? For the what? The 60 seconds it's taking me to write this stuff down. It's fucking worth it. Like it is so ingrained in me to every day be bold and stand out to violently execute so I can elevate. Look at that violence, execution, elevation. Every day it's drilled into me to violently go after my goals and dreams, follow my purpose and higher calling, something bigger and greater myself, go after it fucking violently and stop at nothing and go after it violently and execute on those things I need to do to execute in order to get there. Violently execute so that I can elevate to that next level. Elevate to that higher calling. Elevate to something bigger and better and higher than myself. Those are mantras. Those are changes of state. I changed my state right here just thinking about it, talking about it. That shit fires me the fuck up. That's what it's all about right here. That's what mantras are for. Not just to say some shit that looks cool on the fucking internet and a little quote card or some shit or some shit you're sharing that someone else wrote down. It's actually putting this shit into practice, actually executing this stuff, actually connecting with this stuff, actually creating this stuff. See how I'm, I'm tying in all those words to like the thought of this because they're so drilled into my identity and character. And 2022 was slow down, weaponize and explode. Slow down was because sometimes we're going too fast and miss over things. Slow down and doesn't mean slow down and not bring the fucking fire. It means slow down so you're not missing anything. Slow down, be more aware. Have more awareness, more situational awareness, more social awareness, more self-awareness. That's what slow down means. So you're not missing anything. So you're being more present with your kids. Slow down and be more laser being focused on the one single task you're working on right now. That's what slow down is. And when you slow down and you're focusing on that one task, within that task, you are violently fucking executing so you can elevate. You are violently creating and connecting so you can close. 
This shit is all fucking connected. This is like a fucking mind warp here. This shit is getting me fired the hell up. It, this is literally changing my state right here, live in front of you on this camera. I am elevated from, I am a different person right as I'm recording this as before I started this, just by going through this. Cause I've never actually spoken this all out loud together and connected this all together. Like actually put this together. That's why I thought this episode was going to be so important. It's going to be a, pr- a pretty short one, but because it was so fucking powerful and I feel the power from it. I'm already elevated from it and, and elevate elevation is my third word of the year this year. And I, it's, go, it's, go, it's happening right now. As you, you're witnessing an elevation. There is a new version of me here today, a better version than there was just 20 minutes ago when we started this fucking show. We're, I'm done recording here. I'm, I'm going to record another episode and I'm going to get to work. I'm going to get after it. I'm fucking in the freak flow. Like this is what these mantras and these changes state will do for you. They will put you into the freak flow for the situation that you need to be put in, depending on what the situation is. So have your own personal mantras, have your foundational mantras, have the mantras you call upon for different situations that light you to fuck up, that elevate you into that freak flow, and it makes you fucking unstoppable, makes you unbeatable, makes you impenetrable, makes you bulletproof, makes you just like those non-negotiables last week in those daily disciplines, makes you never have a bad day. There's no days off. There's no bad days. There's no cheat days. There's only awesome days and awesomer days. This is all part of the freaking puzzle. Speak these mantras. Think these mantras, write these mantras, connect with these mantras, tattoo them on your fucking body if you have to, like I did with no excuses, but create yours. And I want to see down there in the comments below, what mantras have you created? What are your favorite mantras? What are your personal mantras? What are your themes of the year? What are your words of the year? What's your word of this week? What's your word of right fucking now today? Share with me down in the comments. Let me know. I want to hear all about it. I want to connect with that and connect with you on this shit. So put it down there in the comments and make sure you like, subscribe, and share this podcast with all your friends, your family members, and your coworkers. And check out the links down below also for the Freak Father Alliance, the Men's Mentorship Group Coaching Program, ma- Masculinity Mastery in your mindset, your muscles, your money, and your meaning. And right below that, I'll put a link into the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula, which is the last training program you ever need, where I've used literally 25 years worth of knowledge that I've used to stay in shape for 25 years straight. And I've used with tens of thousands of clients to lose hundreds of thousands of pounds and be lean and fit and ripped all year round, the last training program you ever need. Go and check out the link for that. It will change the way that you're, you're blow your mind and the way that you train, the way you think and the way you approach training, a whole different way of doing things, something that's never been done before in the fitness industry. Go, so go check that out. And that actually comes included with the men's mentorship, the freak, the freak father alliance. So check those two links out below. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.